this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and I've got an unboxing. This is from Diamond Painting 911. So for those of us that have gotten these books of the uh, diamond painting with the colours, I decided to have a look at the company Diamond Painting 911 and have a look at their website um yeah there's some interesting stuff in there i ordered this this is uh if patty and jazz are watching this is actually for their nursery for when they eventually have children um i ordered this 20th of february it was shipped on the 27th of february 27th of march i emailed them and i arrived at it arrived today the 5th of april it take, took 44 days to get here. Cute pink packaging. It's in a boot. It's in a boot, so let's see how this goes. So what it is, is 80 by 45 lion, what is it? Lions and Tigers diamond painting number four. be gone right away now just to work out where it's sealed up is that where it's sealed oh, it's sealed there there it is okay so oh trays two squares of wax one big one small boat two different size boats not had two different size boats before and two drill pens and some baggies and there's a lucky band around it okay there's a lucky band around this there's my scissors I'm not even keeping the lucky bands there they go, flung somewhere. Nathan's home. I'm unboxing and he's in the shower, so be interesting to see uh, whether he comes out and makes noise. Okay, so let's, this is not looking good. Oh, it's a few covered, so it shouldn't be too bad. Ooh. This one's going to need books on it. Oh, nah. Oh, and another boat. There's all the drills. I am dreading this. Look at this. Turn this over. I've got cabins under here. Plastic up. Get there and say clear plastic. Generally, they're okay. Actually, let's see what I can do. Oh dear, sorry about that. Nathan got out of the shower. Right, I'll just put the ruler down. Just pushing that out with the ruler. That's actually come up not too bad. So, I'll do the other one. Look at this. This is just, it just looks horrible. up 
should not have long sleeves on. Okay, so let's see how this goes. So I've got a big cabin here. Because it's going to need a bit of work on it. But oh, I think I've got a good way to fix it. Okay, let's push down and slide. Doesn't want to go on there. Gosh. This is a very flimsy plastic, very flimsy plastic. I've not come across one that. Okay, so what do we got still? So I've still got those craters there. That's a severe crater, that one. So they're going to take some work to get out. And that'll be what I will do with that. I will actually put that over an edge of a counter. Um, I might film how I do that to straighten these out instead of putting an iron on them. I actually do a rubbing motion on, on an edge. Did that make sense? But, okay, so looks like it's going to be pretty cool. Giraffe there. It looks like it's going to have enough detail in it for the size of it. Oh gosh. Sorry, that's someone's dog out there just absolutely howling. Okay, what do we got? It's a simple symbols. Alphabetical. I don't have enough light here. So we've got one to nine and A to Z with a hashtag at the end of it. 35 colours. Okay, look at the drills. Oh, I like the way these are packaged. These look really good. No. Won't say anything yet. I won't say anything yet. Wait till I open it up. Here we go. Enjoy the Christmas crackling. <laughs> Open. They're in a nice big bag and no inventory. Okay. Just make sure I have 35 bags. So, 3, 10, 9, oh, there's a smell. I can smell something. Oh, let's see if I find something. 35, 34, 19. Whoops. 20s, 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 6, 5, 4, 3, 4, 5, Okay, drop one bag already.
I just they just smells like one of these is oily. So I'm looking for now because one of them smells oily. Okay, and where did that bag go? Okay. Radio. So I have one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So all the colours are there. But it's just a smell. Got 945 has some stragglers in it. Quite a few stragglers in that one. I'd love to know where I could spot that smell is. Okay. Right here, so I <laughs> can't see what where the smell's coming from. So all the colours are here. They are uh, what I paid for it, good question, if I go back to 22nd of February when I ordered it, uh, just trying to open up the email, so that was 45.74 US. Um, Paid sixty six seventy two Aussie dollar. The exchange rate was uh, one Aussie to sixty nine US cents. So that was the exchange rate on that. This is why I don't tend to say prices. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do a short footage of what I'm gonna do to get these cabins out of this diamond painting. Um, haven't looked, so I will see what I can do there, and then I'll get back and give more details on how I feel about the rest of it with their colours and symbols. Okay, hang on, I'm going to bring you up, hopefully show you a bit more. I've still got some creases in here, so I've just tried to bend it. So what I do is I have the edge of my bench like that and I have the canvas going over and I pull it backwards and forwards. Um, generally that gets out a lot of creases. However, not fully. There is a big improvement, but that is because I have used the hair dryer. So you can see uh, here, it was worse down this end. So, um, what I've done, excuse the noise, I've just used the hair dryer. I use the hair dryer because this has got the plastic on the other side of it. And yes, I do like to get rid of the plastic, but I'm, gonna, I'm learning to work with it. So, I'm just trying to work out how you can see that shadow. Can't really see, it's only the shadows that are helping you see where the, um, with where it is so all I do is hair dryer on it and stretch the canvas so
I don't know if you can see that's the worst of it is out of there. I've still got some here. So I'll just work on this one. Focus again. It's not focusing. Come on, focus. What we've got is this is a lot better. You can still kind of see here, but that's not really, that's nothing to really stress about. And what I am going to do is my ruler, put my ruler under here. Okay, I'm going to give this a the big thing with the hairdryer is the hairdryer isn't touching. Sorry, I'll bring you over this way. Here we go. Okay, so the hairdryer doesn't touch. I'll be as quick as I can to get that down. And wait until you see the effect of this. Because with the hair dryer, you, with the heat, you are melting the, the glue or you're softening the glue. And by relaying the plastic over it, the plastic is back to being good. So, um, can you? I don't know if you can see the difference. So you can still see there's creasing like that one, but that one is pretty smooth. So that's how I deal with. So I've still got down here a bit, but nothing to worry about in reality. Yet, if we go back to this side, okay. The worst of the creases are right back of it. Oops, sorry guys, bump the camera. So we're going to do the same thing. Pull this back. And back a bit more. And what you'll find is, I can tell where I used the hairdryer because it had that extra bit of grab. When you first open, take the, lift the plastic off any of these, um, you find there's a bit of grab. That's what it's doing, which is a semi-remelt of the glue. Oops, didn't put the all in the right spot. <laughs> Gotta get this in the right spot. There you go. Stretch that a bit. Just bring that out. My worst crater is at this end, which is right where we are now. There we go. The thing with the hair dryer is you're able to maintain that monitor the heat. So if you do have some problem areas, you can throw the heat on a little bit more on that section. Of course, 
keep your nose open for any funny smells. Whoops, just got my sleeve on me. Because if you go too hot, you might end up melting that glue too much. But that little jobby done, the glue, I'll lift this up. The glue is still good. And my big divots that were here are gone. So this one's another good one. Oh, you can just see, that's more the plastic that's, if you actually look, ah, where's the reflection? I'm trying to get the reflection at the same time. So here, that's the plastic that's got it, not the, um, not the canvas anymore. So that's actually a fold in the plastic. So that one's saved and workable. Got all the drills. They are individually bagged up, no inventory. So for me to kit this up, for those that have seen my kit ups, for me to kit this up, I need to grab my phone and shoot my labels. So that's, I'm gonna to have to do that uh, to, do my labels but I won't do that now but camera thought I was what I am going to do is I'm going to need the light pad hold a sec All right light pad in place and look at how bright that is that um this one's going this is really easy to read um, but <laughs> keep wobbling these over so Oh, see me down. Do better than that. I'll see me down. And okay, so that's just zoomed in on on the uh, butterfly. There's a butterfly right there. Zoom it out a little bit. The symbols look pretty clear when it focuses. So they do look pretty clear symbols. Okay. And let's see, well, that's just one level, two, three. So that's, um, there's no real dark colors. Even though they are dark colours, the actual canvas hasn't been printed in dark colours. There is no white letters, which I do like that. Um, but yeah, she looks pretty good. There's the giraffe. <laughs> okay, um, I'm normally I go through a couple of. Um, I like to have a look at some of the drills. I'll just. Bring you up to a better level. And mind your stomach. That's where I've started going is looking at the drill quality. And where's my big tray? They look pretty good to me. Gonna zoom on it. I can't see any knobby bits. Proof is in the pudding. I'm actually gonna take some three tens out. It's the three tens that tell the big scale. So, recap on what it is. Diamond painting from Diamond Painting 911. I paid, what did I say, about 45, uh, 60, well, it's now $61 on their website, and it's an 80 by 45 square, and just bear with me, oh wow, 
So there you go. The proof's in the pudding with these guys. Three tens. I can. Oh, I've spotted one. Where's my tweezers? I'll see if I can show it to you. Can you see the knobbly bit? Hang on. That's reaching up too high. There we go. Where did I see it? I saw a knobbly bit. Oh, that's still joined together. So that's a... Where is it? That one's actually still joined together. But... Three tens, there's normally lots of crap in that. Excuse the language, but there's normally a lot of crap in that. And because I was able to straighten out this canvas, so that's just the plastic now. That there's just the plastic hut. Put you straight. Uh, so that's the three tens look good. Uh, I wonder, do I have 939? So these on the side of the chart are not not in DMC number order. Um, they are actually in. If you actually have a look, they're in color order. So you're going for <coughs> your reds, your pink, your purple, your blue, your green, your yellow, and then your greys and your browns. So these are very clearly done in color order not in numerical symbol numerical symbol not in num dmc and nine three eight where is it just trying to look for it yep let's start brown drills look good yes there was a funny smell I can't find any drills that, that are sticky. I'm feeling through them, but can't find any that feel sticky. Got a stray, stray in there. <laughs> I think that's shell pink. No, it's pretty close to a shell pink or baby pink. And yeah, the stragglers are in that one. Nine, four, five. But all in all, actually I'm I was, be able to, I was able to save that canvas. That's the big thing to me. And sorry for juggling you again. I was able to save the canvas. So, um, yep, yeah, this one will get bagged up. Actually, get this out of the way so you can see it again. Slide them along. Whoops. <laughs> so this one will get, uh, I'll bag this up and um, do a setup at some other stage. Um, yeah, that's that's just the plastic now. That's really cool. It's good. I, I can work with it. How cool is that going to look? Oh yeah, that's great for a nursery where they've done a jungle theme for their nursery for their, um, or when they have their kids. So, whoops, um, that's it for now, and I will chat to you later. Please, um, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment, um, subscribe, hit the bell, get all those wonderful notifications, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.